welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Episode 7, and no, not The Force Awakens, Episode 7 of the best of PPW, down here at the Duke's Dungeon, as Michael Camarelli would say, 7 come 11, but not just a normal Episode 7, EJ. This is a special birthday edition. PPW turns 7 years old. Paul Bull, alongside Julius Kuyper, snap down right in the middle here, the 5th Jawa. Alexander Bo. I'll tell you what, Paul Bo. This is maybe episode seven, but this show ain't run by Disney, and we're not sellouts, unlike that savior of all you nerds out there, George Lucas. <coughs> this is 100% independent pro wrestling, and whether you like it or not, we're bringing it to you old school for seven years straight. All right, EJ, you got to calm down there, but we debuted our first match in the Electric City, Scranton, Pennsylvania. No Dunder Mifflin to be found. It was the Brawl at the Mall. Saturday, August 10th, 2019, the billionaire playboy, he landed his helicopter on the Steamtown Mall as he took on Jockzilla himself, Bro Keller. Tell you what. Steamtown has never saw su such flamboyance and elegance as they did with Charles Mason that night. And you know what? This match overall, two up-and-coming stars, their paths finally met, and what a match it was. Absolutely. Tom Mitchell will have the preview shortly. Our second match tonight, smack in the middle, was PPW Shootout. Another big match from that night on July 21st, 2018. Ring of Honor star Dante Caballero, led by Diablo Rojo, took on up-and-coming KC Navarro, EJ. I'll tell you what. Dante and Dante Rojo... You know, they they are seasoned competitors, but Casey Navarro wanted to prove himself. And you know what? He's continuing to climb that PPW ladder to this day, and he's nearly at the top. But when you're at the top, everyone's taking shots at you. In our main event tonight, former Impact star Tessa Blanchard came to PPW. It was PPW Vision Saturday, November 17th. 2018 and who did she take on ej our ppw women's champion current women's champion christina marie you're not going to find two finer women's competitors in all the land paul boat tessa blanchard right now is if not the top female competitor within the top five we bring you the best talent female male it doesn't matter they're all here for the past seven years at PPW. All right, that's the start to the show. Alexander, do your job. You've been awful quiet. Let's go to Tom Mitchell for the first match. Hello, PPW Nation, and welcome to a brand new episode in the Best of PPW series. My name is Tom Mitchell, and let's get started with our very first matchup of Episode 7. Let's travel north to Scranton this week as we go to Brawl in the Mall in Scranton, PA, as Bro Keller takes on Charles Mason. Now, this is not the Charles Mason of today, per se, the one who was tagged to form PPW heavyweight champion Evander James. No, instead, this is Charles Mason in his sleaziest form trying to win over Jason King's girlfriend, Penny Lane. Two men, both highly athletic and highly motivated, broke Keller at this point, was still looking for his first singles victory, takes on Charles Mason, who is trying to impress the lady. Which man will win this contest? Let's find out right now. He doesn't want it. He's going to hop over. I like his style. 
I don't know if I'm doing this solo or not. I don't know. I don't have anybody sitting next to me. Paul's going to be here eventually. I guess DJ's out. He's trying to turn his lights off in the garage. His opponent, fighting out of Cockeysville, Maryland, weighing in at 194 pounds. He is your Jogzilla All Energy Bro Killer! Philip, I'm here. EJ, get off my cord before I slap your teeth. Bill, we saw Bro Keller last month taking on Clutch Adams. Great matchup here. All energy is back here in PPW. The Bro, uh, Bro Keller. Yeah, I got a problem with this guy's name. I caught a lot of flack for calling him Bo Keller. I'm gonna start calling him Bo Keller from now on. I'm, I cannot call this man Bro Keller. Get out of here. Former NCAA track star, Bro Keller returning here to PPW. Um, EJ, see you later. Here we go, collar and elbow tie up. Both men jockeying for position. Mason with a nice, going for the hammer lock there, Phil, trying to wrench it in. Maybe a guillotine choke. Well, Charles Mason wants to slow this one down, obviously. All energy, bro, Keller. Gonna, gonna jump off from one side to the other. He doesn't know, Mason can't keep up with that. He wants to slow it down, take it to the mat. Control the pace of this match, Paul. Right on cue, a lot of Charles Mason trained in Europe for years. And you can see that style right there reflecting in the ring. Here at PPW, Mason, former No Limits champion. Now in a nice side headlock by Bro Keller in perfect position. Phil, you can see him wrenching that right leg back, left leg back, excuse me, applying the most pressure to the neck. Mason reverses it into the standing switch into the waist lock. You know, Bro Keller's gonna play this game if Charles Mason wants to. He doesn't prefer it. He doesn't prefer it, but he will play it. He can play it just as well as Charles Mason can. Mason better look out here. Big shoulder tackle by Mason. Keller goes down, big leapfrog. Look at this. Went for the bicycle kick, no one home. Mason goes to roll him up. Keller holds on to the ropes. Sends him for the ride. Plants him right in the middle of the ring. Keller's got a headlock on Mason. Whoa, Keller right into us. Oh, running knee right to the million dollar smile at a billionaire playboy, if that even makes sense. Well, it does to me. Great agility from, from Bro Keller. Mason Chow, oh, look at that dirtiest trick in the book. Gave him a thrust right to the larynx and drops him right across that top ropes. I said thrust, you idiot. I thought you were talking about the berserker. I thought you said hot. Oh. Stomping on the back of the shoulder of Bro Keller. I knew I'd get it in. Charles Mason taking advantage here. Middle of the ring, unceremoniously throws him down. And you know what, Paul Mason, very, very good student of the game, taking advantage, not letting his opponent up. He knows what Bro Keller can do with just two tenths of a second. Absolutely. He doesn't want to give it to him. Absolutely, he's got to keep him down, got to keep his pedal to the metal. Charles Mason, the arrogance of Charles Mason, now wrenching the face, rearranging the smile of the Jogzilla. I don't know you can make him any uglier. Well, you should talk. What do you mean? I'm a gorgeous man. Mr. Congeniality. What are you talking about? Mason backs him in the corner, shushes the crowd. Oh, man. Wow. Drop across the chest. Oh, another one. Charles Mason laughing that sick, sadistic laugh after caving his opponent's chest in. 
Here he goes, sends Keller for the ride. Reversal by Keller. All energy up and over. Look at this, springboard, flying body press, nobody home. You know, Mason nobody, was a step ahead of him, Phil. Nobody home, but you gotta be impressed with the athleticism of Bro Keller getting in that position. Charles Mason also very smart to get out of that. Pendulum backbreaker, back press, hooks the leg, and a kick out by Keller Mason again. Only one leg instead of two. The cocky attitude continues for the billionaire playboy. You know, five minutes into this match, Paul, Charles Mason slowing it down. If you had to ask Charles Mason, you want to be the, right here at five minutes, he would have to say yes. Not exhausted, a lot of gas still in the tank for Charles Mason. Very smart to pace himself here tonight. For the most part, Phil, he's caught, he's kept Keller grounded, and he's more down. Beautiful drop kick parallel with the top rope by Mason. Again, a nonchalant cover and a kick out by Bro Keller Mason better be careful here. I think he's underestimating Keller. Backs him into the corner. Sends him for the ride. Bro Keller exhausted, hanging both arms on that corner, corner turnbuckle there. Or on the ropes, excuse me. Keller slides down. Smart move to avoid getting his back caved in by that turnbuckle, Paul. Keller going for the springboard. Oh! Springboard into the flying body press. Kick out again at two. Phil, I thought he had him there. I think everybody here thought he had him here. Bro Keller, especially eyes bug-eyed as he comes up after two. Charles Mason still in this match. Keller showing that martial arts style background. Spinning back kicks and a knee right to the side of the head. Has him measured. Oh, man. Keller, great move by Keller, hooking the leg, and just a two. Keller again cannot believe it, Charles Mason showing the guts and the heart that he has. Absolutely, Keller trying to pick Mason up. Up in the fireman's carry position, has him up. Wait, Mason blocked it. Beautiful reversal from Mason. Not only did he avoid the move, but he got himself in perfect position, Dennis. middle of the ring. Sorry, Paul, got excited. Keller just got his arm up in the nick of time. Keller is telling him to stay down, Phil. Has him up. Both men exhausted. Excuse me, Mason. Next big move, I think, has got a crucial Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Mason lands on Keller. Keller at the nick of time. Keller, nice reversal, middle of the ring. Got him down, Charles Mason grabbing his ribs Mason and rolling, rolling to the out. outside of the ring. Charles Mason right in front of us. Keller gonna roll him back into the ring. Both men visibly exhausted, Phil. Bro Keller trying to pick up a huge victory here tonight. Oh man, <laughs> right to the shot to the peninsula south of the equator. Bro Mason has him up. Keller singing soprano as he's hung over the shoulders of Charles Mason. And Mason, oh, down. right on that shoulder. It's over. Charles Mason picking up a big victory. Here's your winner, the billionaire playboy, Charles Mason. Charles Mason picking up a big victory over Bro Keller here tonight. And there's Charles Mason getting the photos, victory. Here in Scranton tonight, Penny Lane's got to be watching. He's got to be looking to dedicate this win to her. We'll be right back on TPW High Voltage. Hey guys, Alex here. And the words 
of Frosty the Snowman. Happy birthday to PPW. Seven years PPW strong. Now, I've only been with PPW the last two or so years since the end of 2017, but what a ride it's been. So, one of the great things that I got to witness is the debut of a guy who just uh, got ranked as one of PWI's top 500 indie superstars. The debut at PPW of Casey Navarro at PPW Shootout against Dante Calabero. Check it out, guys. I've waited all month for this match when it was signed. Two of my favorite athletes, Dante Cabanjero and Casey Navarro. Happy birthday to the young 19-year-old. He has such a bright future here in PPW and all of the professional wrestling world. You fans are in for a treat tonight. This is your PPW High Voltage main event. Paul Bowen alongside Phil Bravado, E. Julius Kuiper, still out west. Rolling them and selling them. I'm talking about students. Casey Navarro at age 19 amassing a, rep, a resume of some 19 year old or 19 year veterans of this business. All right, get Rojo off the apron. This one's going to be a good one, Paul. I echo your excitement. Rojo so excited he can't even stop getting on. There we go. Oh man. That'll do it. Navarro right down on the key. Where are you pointing up? Well, Dante and Casey gonna put on a show tonight. Oh, big slap right across the chest on Casey Navarro. Casey Navarro last week scoring a very impressive victory over Ethan Page. Yeah, you see the Kinesio tape on the left shoulder of Casey Navarro. He, he just come back, back from an injury about three months ago. We're gonna have to see how that holds up. And look at this kid move. So look at that. So quick on his feet. Navarro already being compared by some to Leo Rush, to Rich Swan, to oh, and that's a exa perfect example of why electrifying this crowd. Navarro went for the springboard, and Dante wants a timeout now. Wait, oh, Navarro! Here we go! Oh, oh he a hold of him. And you know what? Say what you want, but Rojo just saved his man there. The inexperience of Casey Navarro letting Rojo distract him. Oh, man! And there's the raw power of Rico Dante Caballero. I'm not even going to pronounce that last name. That's a nightmare. Just That's call like, him Dante. Well, it looks like an eye chart. Well, that's not technical, but it'll work. Navarro, Navarro's face stinging as a result. 
And now Navarro chopping back. Chop right across the chest. Navarro much smaller at a buck 30. And he can really make some noise here across the independent circuit with a victory over Dante tonight. The Maryland Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And they all come here, Paul Bo, to Hazleton to put it on the line. Resumes, reputations, what have you, in the middle of this PPW ring. And this is a perfect example of two up-and-coming athletes showing their face up here in Hazleton. As we said earlier in our open, Dante Cabajero with the victory is by submission over Jackson Stone a few months ago. Couldn't make last month. Had a tryout, should I say, with some upper echelon company and was very successful. Oh, beautiful oh. drop kick by Dante. Caught him square right on the button, Phil. And the problem with Casey Navarro is he gets he gets to his opponent at such speed that when his opponent counterattacks, it hurts that much more. Neck breaker by Cabanjero. I cannot pronounce that. Is Kick out by KC. Diablo Rojo has got his man a strategy tonight that is working very well. And like I said, being only 19 years old today, Casey Navarro has a lot of developing to go yet. He's only a kid. Training with Pat Buck down at WrestlePro, training with DJ Hyde over in CZW. He has been to the show. He has been in big spots and at such a young age. So seasoned in the ring already. Navarro up top. Oh. Went for the frog splash, no water in the pool. Here's a lateral press, double hook in the leg. Couldn't put him over. Oh man, like a battering ram. Cobbinjero in the corner, power slam on Navarro. Went for the Vader bomb, oh. landed perfectly, hooks the leg. And I'll got, tell you what, not to take away from this match, but I'm impressed with Becky referee in there. She is on top of every single spot there, Phil. Well, is she going to give anybody a stunner? Is she going to give anybody a power slam? Where's Cardin? Is he in jail? He should be after that display. Hard-hitting match here, PPW's main event for high voltage here. Casey Navarro trying to... He's saying he's too small. Never judge a book by its cover, Phil. That's right, that small stature has come and won a lot of matches lately. And now the Look speed from Casey Navarro being on display here. Martial arts style. Navarro up and over. Oh, Back step and, up oh. in Seguri, right to the side of the jawline. And now Navarro looks like he's about to wrist Go for the springboard. Nice. Springboard drop kick by Navarro. That took a lot out of him, Phil. Both men laid out. Referee begins the count. Navarro exhausted. Cabanjero exhausted. And Diablo Rojo looking over there, telling his men, you got it. Just stay in this match a little longer and you will win this match. Navarro obviously on the other side has a lot to say about that opinion. And he's throwing his body at Dante every chance he gets. Oh man! Backs him into the corner. Big stinger splash by Navarro. Well, if you notice how long Casey Navarro takes to go to his next move set. Very fast. Never letting his opponent get a time to think. Oh, planted him like a palm tree in the Sunshine State. The Miami native hooks the leg. Oh, two and three quarters. So close, Phil. That was very topical right over there. That was nice, Paul. I need to go to the Paul Bow School of Journalism. It's closed. Hey, by the way, congratulations. I knew you weren't going to say anything, but um, announcer and commentator of the month, I think, is it's what that of the was. Year. Excuse me, of oh, the, the year. Oh, the year. Oh, gee, they give out yearly awards for these. Absolutely. That's what that stick of gum was that you got from that guy. I bought all my votes. What could I say? Well, I don't see any compensation. 
Navarro to going up top. Cobb and Gerald goes to greet him. Oh, man! Took his head off. Dante is vicious. Yeah, second gear with Dante this now. Mishinuku driver hooks the legs, matchbook cover. And Dante Cabajero could not put the young KC away. What a birthday present it would be for KC Navarro to score a victory against Dante Cabajero. Huge victory. Wait, Diablo Rojo on the apron. What's he? Is he distracting his own man? Diablo Rojo up on the apron for some unforeseen reason. Oh, there, there goes Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Navarro making sure everybody goes out. This is what the fans want to see right now. The Sky Reaper is about to take flight. Here he goes, Phil. Whoa! Oh! Tope Con Hilo! Who? I think I ordered that last night at Applebee's. That was Larry Zabisco. Somebody call that guy a taxi. He's down. Navarro going up top, looking to put Cabajero up away. He's measuring, he's got all the time. Beautiful! Oh, Spanish, as flash. you said, via Leo Rush. It's over! What a notch in the belt of Casey Navarro, only 19 years old. Match of the night right there, Phil. You can put a ball on that one. Casey Navarro's your winner. Hey guys, Alex again. Uh, so initially, I came to PPW through the Wicked Turtle Network with my pal, The Penguin, uh, and we got to conduct some really, really cool interviews with the legends that PPW brings in time and time again. So here is your exclusive P a PPW Wicked Turtle Rewind to our interview with Hall of Famer Ron Simmons. Check it out. We're sitting here with Hall of Famer Ron Simmons. Thanks for being here, Ron. Oh, really. man, listen, it's an honor for me to be here. You know, I mean, listen, you know, I, I have to start by saying this, and I've had the good fortune of traveling now that I've retired from the ring, right? Right. So this is especially good for me because I get this opportunity to come back and say thank you to all the people for Absolutely. over the years. And we want to say thank you to you as well. Yeah. Uh, we very much appreciate it, and it, it is such an honor to get to see the guys who have made it big. Mm -hmm. Get to come around to these, you know, small towns and, and, and meet the real people, you know? Yeah, well, without the real people, bro, you know, <laughs> there is no professional wrestling. Exactly. There's no Ron Simmons, you know, or any of the Hall of Famers, you know? So, hey, this right. is good for me. Uh, you know, I, I've always wondered about um, probably the biggest moment in your career um, when you won the heavyweight championship mm -hmm. now uh <clears throat> that is deemed the you, you won it as the first african-american to win the black black All right um so with with that i mean i i, I watched the match time and time again and your reaction to winning it you know, flailing around on the mat and just like all around. I know that's not, not that's not an act. No, I that, know that's real. Exactly. Okay, l l let me let me get something straight. And you know, I get to ask this all the time. All right, mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone says about this business, whether you call it fake or however you want to look at it from that standpoint. When you put in as much time as I and others have in this mm -hmm. business, that's what you strive to get. Exactly. Okay, that's yeah. the top of the that, that's the top of the heat. Yeah, that's the pinnacle. And that's okay? what I mean. I mean that right. That it, you can see a, that yeah. that moment. It's a real meant moment. So 
much. And, you know? and it's a real moment, especially, you know, putting emphasis on not just because, you know, of it being that it was historically making, you know, in the making, you know, being the first black world heavyweight champion, right? right? It was a spontaneous thing there, okay? It right. was real. You understand yeah. me in that sense, you know? So my reaction is real. The crowd reaction is real. You know, right. you might just say, hey, it's a real moment in professional wrestling. Exactly. You and know? With that, like, I, I have to ask, did you know in that moment, like, hey, I'm the first? Or was no. that something that came up after? No, like, somebody no. was like, hey, did you know you were no, the first? No, absolutely did not. You know, yeah. that didn't sink in, man, and the magnitude of it didn't sink in until, you know, I, I'd have to say it really didn't sink in until perhaps months later, when, wow. until people, you know, actually started coming up to me, not only black, right. okay, but whites and other, and of all other nationalities, you know, oh, say, hey, man, you know what, thank you, you know, for just inspiring me in that way, you know, it inspired me not just in professional wrestling, but to do other things in business, you know, and in life, you know, Absolutely. so that's when it set in on me. When, here's the thing, man, you know, I come along with, look, you know, hard work, was pushed okay mm -hmm. all right and that's what made it successful everything right. i've done i've done it to the best of my ability absolutely okay everything i've done okay and i've had people along the way to help me but people are there to help young people even these days man right. you know if the one thing that i think the young people these days have the worst thing with doing yet it's so simple mm -hmm. all right here's the thing in my opinion that they find so difficult to do all right and i'm going to show you the gesture that it is, okay? Okay. And this is the start to them doing something with their life. All right? Watch this. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Here's what they need to do. Get off their ass. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the first step. Thank you, man. I can't tell you what a you know pleasure this has been for me, you know, and I look forward to coming back, you know. Appreciate I look forward to coming back to this organization. You got a great thing going here with PPW. So I look forward to it and thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, guys, remember, like, share, subscribe, and see first for all things wicked. Bam! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the best of PPW, high voltage style. It is Munderwear main event time, November 17, 2018. It was PPW Vision, EJ. And former Impact World Champion Tessa Blanchard came to PPW with her eyes focused on that PPW Women's Championship held by Christina Marie. Pobo, as I alluded to in our introduction, Tessa Blanchard is one of the top if not the top female competitor in the world right now. I honestly can't think of anyone uh, who could take her to her limits. However, Christina Marie stepped toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tessa Blanchard and abs did absolutely just that. And it, what a matchup it was. And worthy of the main event of the evening tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, that's why Christina Marie has the title to this very day. As you said, EJ, earlier... PPW turned seven. What a great seven years it's been. I know we have a lot of people to thank, and I know you got, got something. For we got phone something phone. here. Look where this. where did you get that? Straight from the Stuart Gotts Bakery. Better than grandma's. They make cannolis. They make cakes. They make pies. Anything you want. Well, before we makeshift blow the candles out, AJ, I know you have some people to thank, and then so do I. Paul Bo, the people I want to thank most are our fans, the PPW Nation. Without you, none of this is possible. Some of you watching this have been there from day one, and don't worry, we recognize you, and we thank, your, thank you for your support, and we really treat you like our family. Well, I'd like to thank a few people, too, first. First of all, I'd like to thank Uncle Jeff for putting this show together, as always. Alex, Tony, Ryan, Mitch, Dave. Rob Miller, Dave Yost, all the sponsors, everybody. Let, let, let's blow this. Let's make Unders candles. We'll blow it out together. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Wait, wait a minute, bro. I think you forgot someone. <laughs> that was from Bravado. Yeah, keep singing your Wiggles song. Let's go to the main event. All right, people, this match is for the 
This one might be matching in the night Phil, this is a great matchup here, a great opportunity for Tessa Blanchard to add another championship to her resume. Christina Marie, this could be her toughest task yet. And Christina Marie, very athletic. Tessa Blanchard, very athletic. Comes from a wrestling family, the daughter of Tully Blanchard. Power and elbow tie up, standing switch here by Christina Marie. Tessa Blanchard working the arm, wrenching up the wrist. Wherever the arm goes, the body will be sure to follow. Christina Marie got a great test. Tessa Blanchard, one of the best women's wrestlers, if not the best women's wrestlers in the world. Tessa roll through, right out of that hole there. Christina Marie, power lifter from Albany, New York. The strength advantage definitely favors Christina Marie here. Collar and elbow tie up. Standing switch by Tessa Blanchard. Now looking to power, and there's a little bit of amateur wrestling there. Front face lock by Tessa Blanchard. Christina quick to reverse it into the hammer lock. And now having that knee contorted in her back, trying to draw a little bit of extra leverage here, Phil. Tessa right to the vertical base, trying to twist the way out. Beautiful reversal here. These girls mirroring each other's moves and a headlock takeover by Tessa Blanchard. Went for the head scissors. You see how quick Tessa Blanchard's moves are. Bang, bang, bang. It, it's very solid, very technical. That's what happens when your dad is a former member of the Horsemen and your stepdad is step an active PA. I mean, it, you're going to have to live up to a high lineage. Tessa Blanchard doesn't try to listen that. She never apologizes for that. She uses that to her advantage. She's done a lot with it so far. You know, you can have, you can be in a wrestling family. I mean, you have to put it all together in the ring. Tessa Blanchard is an example of that. Absolutely, Phil. And once again, both girls are afraid to make that first mistake. Roll up by Christina Marie and Tessa Blanchard ducks right out of dodge. I was just going to say, both girls feeling each other out. No one wants to make that crucial mistake. That first mistake could be a fatal. Both girls highly skilled. Tessa Blanchard ducks out of dodge. Tessa Blanchard taking a sign out of her old man. And you can see the look on her face. Tessa means business. Get out of the You can pose yourself. Get it back in. Now this guy keeps going. Once again, collar and elbow tie up. Tessa jockeying for position, backs Christina into the corner. Will we see a clean break? Yes, we will. And Christina Marie will have none of that right back at it like a pit bull. And Christina Marie is not going to have her strength tested. Absolutely not. Big side headlock. Tell you what, Christina Marie. <laughs> She's as tough as they come. I saw her parking cars parallel parking earlier today outside. Ducks over, sends Tessa for the ride. Look at this, Mexican head scissor takeover by Christina Marie. 
Oh man, punch right in the side of the face. Blanchard's had a great schedule, a very hectic and busy one. Christina Marie also a very busy schedule. However, Christina Marie has a title to defend. She has had a lot more tape to watch. Look at this. Beautiful hit scissor takeover by Christina Marie. And you were saying about a hectic schedule. So don't forget, last night Tessa Blanchard flew all the way across the country from Los Angeles here, landed in Philly, had a little bit of misdirection today, but got here a little bit later. And the fatigue could set in, different time zone, jet lag. The longer this match goes, the longer it favors Christina Marie. Oh, man. Tessa, just like a hockey player up against the board. Still, I know you played hockey before, but I never played like that. Well, I'll tell you what, they always teach you in hockey. You don't want to check somebody right up against the boards. You want to create that separation to maximize the impact. And that's exactly what Tessa Blanchard did there. And speaking of maximizing the impact, shot right below the shoulder blade. Tessa, oh man, kick right in the kidneys. Floats over, back press. There is nothing that Tessa Blanchard does that isn't at 100%. Every single move. You see, this is a might have, I might have hit more offensive moves. But Tessa Blanchard has hit them perfectly on cue every single time. That's why Christina Marie is on the mat. Tessa Blanchard is picking up. Snap Mayor takeover. Couldn't agree with you more. Kick right behind the shoulder blades again. You can see the look on her face and going for. Looks like a modified figure four there by Tessa Blanchard. Kind of, she's not in front. She's on the side. And look at that. Stretching the legs there. Blanchard using the strongest part of her body, the lower section of her, her legs specifically. Chris Levin's right there in the middle of it asking if Christina Marie wants to give up. Now you're not going to get Christina Marie to give up. My wife is in front of her. Right? Ah, you're full of it. You didn't say anything. Tessa controlling that submission maneuver there. And now she's trying to, she's going to try to choke her out a guillotine choke. Rolls her over. Her shoulders up, and if she rolls a little bit more, and look how she has those legs locked, maximizing the stress on the knee. And a Patella tendon there. Marie so close to that blue rope, but can't do anything about it. It's like the branch of the wrapped up. Kicks right to the kidneys again now. I'll let you do your job, Paul. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get fired just like Freddie did. Big clothesline by Tessa Blanchard. Look at the look on her face. You talk about a scowl. She means business there. You know, Tessa Blanchard came in here, smiles and everything, signing autographs and everything. That bell oh, rang and that all went away. Oh, it's lights out once it's game time. Far away slam by Tessa Blanchard. Christina Marie is laid out on that canvas. Tessa floats over, side press, kick out at two. Shaking her head is almost as almost if she caught herself taking a little bit more time. And that's the thing about Tessa Blanchard. She will evaluate herself in the middle of that ring and fix everything that's wrong with her match, with her style. Bang! Christina got the rock bottom there on Tessa Blanchard. Both women laid out, holding their heads. And you see so much with head injuries in sports. Field. Dr. Frank Roman Scavage here at ringside, one of the best in the business, watching these girls closely. Any sign of any head trauma, referee Chris Levin will stop the match. We're not going to have anyone get hurt here. And you can see Frank is over at attention there, watching these girls absolutely a row of attrition here, battling it out on high voltage only on WYLN. It's the holiday season, and both girls exchanging holiday greetings here. There'll be no, <laughs> there'll be no marshmallow in there. Hot <laughs> chocolate. Oh, you know, Rose line by Christina Marie, big back elbow. Christina Marie feeling it now, pounding the mat, revving it up. Big stinger splash into the corner, rolls through. Christina Marie fighting like her life depends on it right now. She feels that she's got this thing in her advantage. She has got to stay on Tessa Blanchard. Springboard back elbow by Christina Marie. Tessa Blanchard's out. Christina Marie doesn't see it yet. Now she does. Kick out at two. 
Tessa Blanchard needs to roll out of that ring again, regain her composure. Fans cheering for Christina Marie, fans cheering for Tessa Blanchard. Seems to be split right down the middle here. Both girls showing signs of fatigue now. This match is slowing down. Christina misses wildly. Big, big right hand by Tessa Blanchard right across the jawline of Christina Marie, putting her up on the top rope. Oh, man, kicks the ankles right out. Oh, man, she's really laying it in, Phil. Perching her up on the top exactly how she wants it. And you can see the experience of Tessa Blanchard. And the thing of it is, Paul, is that she hasn't even been in the business that long. No. She picks it up quicker than anybody. You can say Tessa Blanchard. You can say a lot of things about Tessa Blanchard. She was destined for Scarlett. She was supposed to be here. She was. She worked her way up. She got into wrestling school before her dad even knew that she was involved. Tessa going up to the top rope. Phil, high risk, high rewards. Looks to come out. Oh, Christina went to roll out, but she still caught her right in the face. Big boot by Christina Marie. Pin hooks the leg. Well, Tessa comes right down on the face of Christina Marie. She didn't need to do that, but I think it might have caused more harm. Yeah, she, she definitely caught her right in the mouth. Trying to see if Christina's been busted open there. She's feeling her jaw. Maybe checking if her chiplets are still intact. Christina Marie going to let that affect Oh, missile drop kick by Christina Marie. Oh, kick out at two. How did Tessa Blanchard get that shoulder up? Instinctively. These two are stealing the show here tonight at PPW. Camel clutch by Christina Marie. She's trying to lock it in. Tessa will have none of that. She's fighting up. Look at the strength of Tessa Blanchard to get out of that move. You know, we talk so much about the strength of Christina Marie. And there it is. RKO by Tessa Blanchard. Matchbook cover hooks the leg. Kick out at two. Tessa Blanchard looking around, what else do I have to do? The put away, Christina definitely fell. Pulling the hair now of Christina Marie Tessa, telling referee Christina to shut up. Here we go, roll up. Kick out at two. Look how quickly Christina Marie is back up to her feet. Beautiful drop toe hold, now she's going. Now she got her in that camel clutch. She's got it locked in deep. She's right in the middle of that 18 by 18 ring. Tessa, you can see her squeezing her hands, trying to. What? Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. Andy Hedder and Ryan Rose out here. Wait a minute. What's Hedder doing? Christina Marie doesn't have any what? idea. Wait the bell. He's calling for the bell. We got a DQ. Chris Levin's beside himself. And then the header comes in and interferes. And Pat Sawyer's out here again for some reason. Tessa Blanchard looking up, wondering what Andy Hedder is done. Ryan Riggs don't even know how to turn the microphone on. What the hell are y'all doing? First off, you're going. We're out here. We're out here. We're out here. We're out here because we know that you are great. That you are beautiful. You got to have it. What do you can say about Andy Hedder? Here, guys. Oh, yeah! Oh, boy! That's a black right She planted him! Wow! Blanchard's match, she wanted the PPW Women's Championship, and undeniable is just ruined that for her. And look out! That Sawyer wants none of it. Anthony. Once again, thank you so much for watching the best of PPW. Be sure to follow us on all social media to stay up to date of everything PPW.
uh, over on Facebook at PPW Entertainment, Instagram at PPW Online, Twitter at PPW Wrestling One, and YouTube, where you can see the entire back catalog of PPW Wrestling matches at PPW Entertainment. And let us know. Send us a message on any of those platforms and let us know your favorite matches. And maybe they can make the cut in future episodes of PPW The Best Of. Tune in every Sunday night at 8 p.m. right here to find your best, to find out what we picked as the best matches. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. This is Anthony, and we're out of here. Support your local wrestling.